What's up, everybody? My name is Erin, and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio. We are in the 12 Days of Christmas 2022 playlist, where I'm playing 12 Christmas-themed games of past and present that you can find and play for free on Newgrounds. There will be a link in the description for each game. For the second day of Christmas, we are playing Christmas Cookie Quest, which was uploaded by Death Tiger Zero on December 16th, 2014. Family, friends, I'm glad you're all here for my Christmas party. Yes, yes, but where are the gingerbread cookies? Yeah, bring us the cookies. You can't have a Christmas party without gingerbread cookies. Well, uh, about that. You see, I can't turn my oven on because the oven switch fell off and I can't find it. So I of couldn't course. bake any gingerbread cookies. Also, there's a blizzard outside, so I can't go out and buy some. Well, how did all your guests get there? Sounds like lame excuses. You're rude. <laughs> yeah, we don't care. We want cookies! Okay, these friends are not my real friends. We want cookies! We want cookies! Everybody relax, please. Christmas isn't about gingerbread cookies. It's about people. It's about us forgetting our problems and reaching out to help other people. Christmas doesn't have to be about presents, eggnog, or gingerbread cookies. As long as we have each other, we will have the best Christmas in the world, with or without gingerbread cookies. Are you done? Yes. We, we want, want cookies! cookies. We, we want, want cookies! cookies. I'd better find a solution quick. I guess we better, and then next year they are no longer invited back to my house for any holiday. That's so rude. All right. It's gingerbread cookie mix. Just shove it in your oven and you'll get festive gingerbread cookies. Too bad I can't use my oven. Why can't you use your oven? There's only mayonnaise left in my fridge. I'll <laughs> take it. I guess serves our friends right if we give them gingerbread cookies that they look like gingerbread cookies, but then they are not gingerbread cookies. That would be there are some baguettes awesome. in here. I'll take one. Or we could just make a sandwich. That's my oven. I can't use it because the part that turns the oven on is missing. Okay, good. So at least we know we're not incompetent. That small shrub could use a little trimming. I'll just pluck some of its fresh leaves with my hand. Okay. I can't leave my house while I have a party going on. Besides, there's a blizzard out there. If I go outside, I'll turn into Frosty the Snowman in a second. Fair point. I, too, do not do well in the snow. I can't leave my oh, house. Oh, okay. Thought we were going to click whatever this little structure was. All right, let's see what is in this room. This is our bedroom. I can't open it. It's locked. What about this one? Nothing inside. Gotcha. A key. Nothing inside. Okay, but is this is this the key for this? Oh. That's my Halloween costume. I better carry it with me. Such a man of class and taste. That's where Cinnamon, my pet mouse, lives. Poor housekeeping. All right, yeah, right now, let's collect all our items, see what we can do, and then we'll start combining things. There's a suction cup reacher in here. It will come in handy soon. I can feel it. That's an odd thing to have. Nothing inside. You just said it was freezing cold outside. You have your window open? Can't be good. I can't go in there without gingerbread cookies. I think they're forming an angry mob. Okay, well, I was just seeing if we had to uh, prepare anything. Can we put mayonnaise on the baguette? What about the grass? A sand Why do we have a sandwich? <laughs> this doesn't work. Yeah, I didn't think it would, but I'm at a loss of what 
to do currently. What do we do with the sandwich? I'm so confused. Do we give it to the mouse? This doesn't work. Oh, there's an attic door. way to the attic. But I can't go upstairs. I need a crowbar to open this hatch. It's jammed. Alright, so now we know to look for a crowbar, but what if we... This doesn't work. Alright. I give. Hmm. Also, not the greatest place to, like, start your string lights in your house in the bathroom next to the sink, no less. And it's below the sink. That just spells danger. So we probably got this house at a discount. All right, I've got to do the old swipe around the screen. This doesn't work. I didn't think it would, but it work. again, I am at a loss of what to do. These games on the surface, they're like, they're meant to be simple. They're meant to be enjoyed by a simple audience. But you, like, look at me. I'm still getting stuck way early on. I've got all these items. I, I don't know what to do with the sandwich because I can't go back into this room. I can't go in there without gingerbread cookies. I think they're forming an angry mob. All the more reason to stop being friends with them. What if the goal is to not serve our friends gingerbread cookies, excuse me, our fake friends, but to scare them away with our, our sweet ghost costume so they never come back to my house? This doesn't work. Yeah, okay. But this. This doesn't work. Oh no, my house is haunted, you have to leave! That's a good idea. Oh. I can go inside wearing my Halloween costume. Okay, okay. Now, the action that would have made sense is if I selected the ghost costume and then clicked myself, but that was not an option. I was fully prepared to just start throwing things at my, my fake friends through the door. But that is not the case. Apparently that was the correct prompt, was to not just throw a sheet in the room. It was, all right, I'm going to be a ghost. Ooh, who are you? Are you, a, are you a new friend? Hello. Oh, hello. No one told me it was a Halloween party. And I thought it was Christmas. Yeah, I accidentally picked up my Halloween costume instead of my Christmas costume. Christmas costume? You're a funny man, mister. Even if they didn't know this was the host, it's very sus that someone you may not know has entered into this room. They've got their face covered. This is a terrifying situation. My name is Chris. Chris P. Bacon. Charmed. I'm Margaret. Hey. Hey, buddy, nice to meet you. I'm Bass. These fake friends. I don't know why they're in my house. They don't even recognize me, my voice. They can still see my sweater sleeves. Obviously, it's me. But either they don't care or they don't care enough about me to pay attention. Hi, Bass. My name is Art. Art Major. I'm a friend of George's. So, how's the party? You're all in the same room. You cannot be giving separate names to separate people. Are they just that jaded or blinded to what everyone else is doing? Terrible. There are no gingerbread cookies as promised, and I'm very hungry. And I can't find anything to eat. I am getting very agitated. I'll feed you the grass sandwich. I'll tell George you're hungry. I'm sure he'll make you something nice to eat. 
except gingerbread. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Erica. Are you a friend of George's? Um, yes. He invited me to his Christmas party. This is very suspicious. If this was my friend group and someone like this walked in and they were being very suspicious like that, um, sir, you would not make it back out the door. We, we would find out who you were. The more the merrier. But don't count on having gingerbread cookies. Looks like George doesn't know how to make them. Oh my gosh. These people are so mean. You know what it is? I don't have any friends, so I invited my coworkers. Well, I can't say that. I love my coworkers personally, but George, George may not have friends. So he just invited his coworkers. And they don't want to be there, but they've got nothing else to do. Or maybe nobody else invited them to their party with their awful attitudes. I don't blame them. Yes, he does. All right. No need to get upset. Have some wine. Yeah, the way you're sloshing it around is going to get on my carpet. So stop. It's a greeting card from Erica's brother, Audacity. How nice of him. Is that important? Here, George said you'd love it. It looks interesting. I'll have a taste. A baguette of unknown origins. Grass or leaves that we trimmed off of our house plant and just straight up mayonnaise. I am a master chef. It's not a herring sandwich, but luckily I'm open-minded. Why did you think it was herring? Are we in that part of the world? This thing tastes terrible. Ugh. And that's what you deserve. I need some fresh air. I'd better open the window. I didn't give you permission to do that. There's something hanging outside the window on the tree branch. I must find a way to get it. Are, are we gonna be very conspicuous? Of course That's we are. Great idea. And we took our sheet off. Haha, <laughs> it was me all along. I heard you guys talking smack about me behind my back. Get out of my Sorry, house. It's a key. Tell George I must have the promised gingerbread cookies to get the taste of the horrible sandwich he made me out of my mouth. Why don't you drink your grape juice, my dude? I can't do everything for you. Oops, I lost track. Was there another place to use a key? Nothing in... I can't leave... Yeah, you can't leave outside because there's a blizzard and this 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 person who absolutely has no care for you or any of your belongings. Oh, there's a treasure chest right here. Excuse I can't me. Open it. It's locked. Um mean girl, I've already immediately forgotten your name because you're not important enough to remember. You're not a good friend. I'm just going to shove you out of the way. I get this candy cane. But why? Why do we need the candy cane? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, Erica. Erica. Um, I don't want to go through this right. dialogue again. You're so mean. Hello. You got anything new to say? Oh, hello. Nope. Chris, okay. And Tell George I'm All right. All right. Everybody hates me. You're not welcome here. It's nice and warm where I'm standing. I don't want to go too close to the fire. My costume might go up in flames. Well, why don't you have a protective fireplace grate in front of there? That's like rule number one. Before you light the fire, make sure you have something to put in front of the fire to protect the rest of your home. And your tree is like way too close to that fireplace. I'm sorry. It is making me nervous. Well, what do we do with the candy cane? Uh, 
This doesn't work. Okay, all right, my thought process. I had some friends, uh, they, they've since gotten a new TV, but when I first started going over to their place, they had this really old TV, the power button was missing, and they were turning it on and off with a screwdriver, just poking it in there. So I thought, well, maybe if I, maybe if I take the candy cane, I poke it through the oven, it'll, it'll turn on and start working, and then I could just throw my, my cardboard box of gingerbread mix in there and everything will be fine. All right, doing the old swipe across the screen again. And there's the attic door, which I already shoved out of my short-term memory. Can we use the candy cane? Maybe I can open the hatch using the candy cane I have. I saw that working in a couple of adventure games. Really? Because this is the first time I've seen it in an adventure game. Which is fine. Got it. It can't be a real candy cane, like actual candy candy cane, because that would just snap. Oh no, it broke. <sighs> and now it's stuck in there. Great. That's just great. <laughs> great. What do we do? Is I mean, we got it open. Is that enough? Oh, this is for the mouse. Just... Cheese, aged cheese from our attic. I think Cinnamon will love it. I do think the little cutscenes with the comic panels are cute. Like you just don't put down the cheese and then an item appears. You do get like a story sequence playing out. So I do appreciate that. <laughs> oh no, I hate that noise. <laughs> hey, what's that? That mouse is not right. Oh, Cinnamon brought me a Christmas gift. Let's open it. It's some kind of switch. For the oven! The mouse re-gifted you the thing that it stole. Now I will be able to use the oven again. And we can no longer starve. We can, we can heat our meals properly from now on. Now I'll have gingerbread cookies in no time. Yep, just shove the whole box in there. Don't take anything out. Ping! I think they're ready. Look at them. They're so adorable. I would love it if food worked like that, if meal prep worked like that. I hate cooking. I get no joy out of it. If this was a real thing, I would be doing it every single day. Good news, everybody. We have gingerbread cookies. So you can all stop complaining. Happy Holidays! Alright, you got your cookies, now get out of my house. Alright, I don't know if this is copyright, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye!